Let's talk about high school snowboarding coach Dave Block. So he started the snowboarding team at Woodstock Union High School in Vermont 10 years ago and had been running it well. It had been expanding. There were no problems. And then he was very suddenly fired. So there was a competition with another team from another school and the opposing team had a man on their female team, you know, a man who was pretending to be a female. And in any case, he overheard a conversation between two students. And one of the students was saying that basically she thought it was unfair for a man to be on a female team. Uh, the other student felt that it was not only fair, but it was discriminatory for you to say anything about it. He being asked for his opinion by those students, then it gave his opinion that in fact men have advantages physically over females and therefore it is unfair for a man to be on a female team. So that, you know, men have distinct advantages over women in sports. That was his point. The very next day he was fired. And not only was he fired for violating the school's harassment policy, yes, but the district ruled that he could never again hold any coaching position in any sport in the district. You know, because he's so mean? Or as they put it, because he engaged in harassment based on gender identity. Again, the trans individual, to use the you know modern term, was not actually around at the time. He was voicing his opinion in a private discussion between three people in which he expressed that which is true, right? He expressed that which is obvious, one might say. So now the Alliance Defending Freedom is defending him and they've all filed a lawsuit against, well, multiple groups actually. They filed it against the Windsor Central Supervisory Union Board, against the Vermont Principals Association, and because the school claims it's just following Vermont law, they're also rolled into the case, or into the lawsuit, of uh, Vermont's state education director. So three main bodies are being sued now. But there's some just unbelievable absurdity to it, at least there should be, but I think we're growing a little bit numb to these stories, and, and we really shouldn't, because these are people's livelihoods. Again, this, this guy started the team 10 years ago, has had no problem you know, and suddenly because he expressed, like, I don't want to call it his opinion because it's not, it's, it's simply the truth. And in a place of learning, the only thing we should care about is whether the people are learning the truth. And instead you have these, you know, places in academia where it's like, well, you can't actually speak that. You're required to participate in a lie or remain, remain silent. But the one thing you cannot do is say that which is true. So these are pretty dark times in that regard. And again, you know, he's a coach. So you might say he'd probably be more aware than even on average, he sees very regularly the differences between male and female athletes and wouldn't consider having a fair, a fair matchup being, you know, women versus men in the vast majority of sports because men are stronger and have greater endurance and so on. But, uh, but again, we're not supposed to say that. The ludicrousness of all that is, I mean, difficult to fathom. But more importantly, I think there's something just really, we ought to be willing to say that there's something wrong about firing a person and causing him to lose his livelihood. Because this is, this was his, his actual job, you know, after 10 years of service for no reason other, reason other than being willing to speak the truth to students in his care, which is absolutely what he's supposed to be doing. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.